As you know, um, or might not know, Monday, um, the 14th of this month is observed as Commonwealth Month in London. So um, what, what they're doing, they're partnered, they're partnered with UNICEF. The CGF are partnered with UNICEF, another human rights organization. And they want all countries that are going to be hosting the Commonwealth Games in the next four years to come there and be over there to celebrate with them because what they want to make sure is that the human rights and disabilities and all of that is part of the game. So on Monday, Ambassador Smith and I will be leaving to celebrate and carry the good news about the Bahamas, letting them know that the Bahamas is ready and willing. And also a good thing happened this week, last week is when we passed the agenda bill because I got a call that Friday asking us if we have any gender bill in the Bahamas. And I was able to tell them, yes, the Bahamas government just passed one on Wednesday. So they're going far back as Glasgow to see what Glasgow did, then the Bahamas in 2017, to see what we're going to do and, and start um, getting involved with, but start letting us get involved with, with the human rights part of the game. Then Gold Coast in 2018, Belfast, Northern Ireland in 2021, and Durban in South Africa in 2022. Too. The human right part of this, um, of, of the human right part is a big part of uh, the Commonwealth Games in London, and they're going to be pushing it. And while we're there, we'll also be able to promote the Bahamas through the, all the um, high commissioners in London to make sure that the world know, the, all the Commonwealth know, but the, uh, but the, um, but the games that we have having here in 2017. Uh, we're going to be attending course on with the Human Rights Convention on the Right of a Child. We're going to be at a principal, we are the human right, the principal guiding on business and human right, human right for the human right and mega sports, to see how that blend, to make sure that we have um, all of that incorporated, incorporated in our sports. You know, they have this equality, humanity, equality and destiny is one of the, their trademark in the Commonwealth Games Federation. And we got to make sure it is implemented in our games. And um, when I come back, I will be able to bring the message to the CEO who will begin implementing those things in the games. We don't want to give nobody, um, anybody with disabilities, we want to make sure that they have good seating, make sure that they, have, if they can volunteer for anything that they could, will be able to volunteer. We want them to be a full part of, of, of the game, and I believe Many of this is starting right here in the Bahamas right now with 2017. So we have to be the, we have to send the, the, the template for how these things are going to cooperate within the Commonwealth Games. We're going to have, um, later on, as the game goes on, you'll have Northern Ireland come to see how we're doing it. We'll have a person from the Gold Coast come to see how it is being done. So it's a very, very powerful, powerful um, event next weekend that we will be attending and promoting the Bahamas through human rights, through the Youth Commonwealth Games, and getting people ready, and getting the rest of the Commonwealth to know that the Bahamas will be ready in 2017 to put on this, this game. And everybody will be involved in it. Mr. Ambassador. Right, great. Before you, before you go, when is, when is the event going to take place? What event? That you all attending? All the next week. All the next week? Yeah, from the 14th to the 18th. All of the action, everything will be in London? Everything will be in London. The principles, the UN Convention will be the guiding principle on business and human rights. Human rights for mega sports. We'll be attending all of those, all of those things. Okay. Make sure we bring equality back to the Bahamas within the games. Just, just a note on, on the preparation for the games. How, 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 how the games. I think the CEO will speak on that um, okay. after the ambassador. Right. The, this, this initiative by the Federation is consistent with what is happening in the international community uh, in dealing with the relationship between agendas and human rights. Uh, this follows uh, consistently with what the United Nations is doing. Uh, in its relationship between the Sustainable Development Goals and migration as a leading uh, international uh, issue. Uh, during major sports events, uh, there are some significant topologies that increase. Uh, 
sex trafficking, human smuggling, money laundering. Uh, what they want to do in these games is to address these topologies as well as those that affect athletes, especially children athletes, and all of the various problems that arise uh, around sporting events in relation to children uh, in particular at this time. So there will be policy discussions. The challenge, uh, the consistent theme uh, is that while we may generate policies, we have to figure out how to get these policies to be effective on the ground in civic communities. So while we have the policy discussions, what will follow will be a series of interagency discussions on what we can do to ensure that physically in dealing with major sports events, these abuses aren't occurring while you have very good policies that are in place. Uh, that will mean that uh, we come back and we speak to social services and to the Ministry of National Security uh, who can have us engage with police officers who know what, what things actually uh, transpire on the ground. Uh, so we, we will participate in this event over the course of the week, but it will mean that there will be ongoing consultations following uh, to address what we will do to ensure that we have an effective and successful games uh, when we host the games uh, next year. Is, um, just for my um, viewing, is there any website or anything I could go on to see how the statistics rise um, during the game in the, in the place where it's hosted the during those times? The United Nations uh, website generally has this type of information. Uh, the, the challenge for us is we don't keep uh, very near and current statistics on this. So this is why we'll need to have uh, social services and the police involved so that we can get the anecdotal information and use that to produce uh, the best information possible that will help us. Yeah. Yes, I'll take questions. Uh. Just need to get an idea of how, how, how is the preparation coming for the game? How are you looking? Well, Brent, let me just say that um, the organizing committee is working um, very hard in delivering the best games um, this side of the world. Um, plans are coming very, very well. In the coming weeks, the organizing committee will make a um, official announcement on our progress. But I can tell you that a number of countries, uh, 41 countries to date, have expressed an interest. Obviously, the Commonwealth has some 71 countries, and we suspect that we will, ha we will get, if not all 71, close to 71. Um, and so right now, we're still planning, uh, maturing the sports program. Um, as you know, we are in discussions. We're getting beach soccer for the first time included in the youth games. Um, and so those discussions are prelim preliminary, but they're ongoing. And um, reaching out to the seven international federations for their support and assistance. And of course, in due course, we will meet, we will reach out to our own national federations, uh, who all have thus far indicated their excitement to be a part of these games uh, in terms of what it is we want them to deliver. So we're taking the approach of the games on stuff that we have to deliver according to our bid package and obviously the experience. And I can tell you that we are energized to make sure that the experience of these games is second to none. Uh, uh, this is the fourth Commonwealth Youth Games held by the Commonwealth Games Federation. And we, and we expect to have these games branded as the best games ever and to set um, some milestones for other countries that wish to host the, the youth Commonwealth Games. How would, how would the, the, um, you know, the federations and, and um, you know, the, the particular sporting disciplines that would be involved, how, how are their preparations been going? How would, you know? Well, we're still, we're still in discussions with respect to athletes allocation with the National Federation. As you may have heard, um, there is a cap of 1,000 athletes. So those consider that those 1,000 athletes have to be scattered among 71 countries in, various, in the seven disciplines. So we're still in discussions with the um, Commonwealth Games Federation on, uh, in, in partnership with the International Federation, first to see which countries are interested in playing in which sport, and then the number of athletes we can accommodate in each sport and to drill down further than each sport, which discipline in each sport um, we will have on the sporting program. So those, those talks are pretty much preliminary. 
Um, and uh, as I said, uh, the organizing committee, uh, I speak right now for the Commonwealth Games Association, uh, and I'm sure that the organizing committee in due course will have an official press release um, detailing what has been accomplished thus far and where, and, um, uh, and where we are. So um, I'm not at liberty just yet to speak on all of the activities of the organizing committee, but I think I can say safely as a Commonwealth Games Association that plans are going very well. Um, and again, publicly I want to thank the Prime Minister who was very um, supportive of our bid package. As a matter of fact, I could say without fair favor, had it not been for his support, that we would not have been in this position to host these games. Uh, and politics being what it is, uh, it, I didn't see any politics at all. I saw a man um, energized to ensure that young people get an opportunity of a lifetime. Uh, just imagine that in seven disciplines, 14-year-olds to 18-year-olds will get to compete at home and in front of their parents, and in front of their families, in front of their schoolmates. So and I saw that energy, and he, um, he, he displayed that energy uh, during the visit of the head of the Commonwealth Games Federation, Luis Martin. And I can tell you that I almost got goose, goosebumps in that meeting because he was sincere. And so I just personally think publicly we ought to thank him uh, for his government's commitment to bring in sports to the Bahamas. And I can say officially that the Bahamas is definitely in the sporting business. This is by far the largest event the Bahamas would, he would have he held uh, since independence. Eh? So uh, we're, looking, we're looking forward to it um, from the Commonwealth Games Association. I know that our national federations is looking forward to it. I know that the organizing committee, um, we can't wait to see the final product, and I know that the Bahamian people are excited. One of the things we want to do is to ensure that we touch as many islands and get as many family island kids involved, uh, and that's been mandated by the prime minister, by the way, that we get family island kids involved. And um, you, we spoke about human rights, and obviously this will be a great forum for us to teach, uh, to tell the kids about you know, their inherent rights as human beings. Uh, and how to practice that through sports, and the safety and the danger nets of, in, in sports as well, and in life. So it's a great opportunity to inspire a nation, not only through sports, but their inherent rights as human beings, important, of, you know, basic education, uh, obviously living standards and the like. Um, so we're excited about what, what it's been off in our, in our partnership with the Commonwealth Games Federation. For the record, those seven sports are... Now you've done it. Um, they're <laughs> judo. Uh, boxing, swimming, athletics, rugby, um, tennis, I'm missing one, cycling, road, road cycling. Beach soccer. Beach soccer is tentative, yeah. We're waiting for FIFA to confirm their willingness to participate in the Bahamas. And uh, then make sure mention me as Commonwealth G the Secretary of the Commonwealth Games Association, not because I not an official release from the organizing committee. That's important. All right. Thank you.